What's going on, guys? This is your boy, Jay Money. Um, I'm back on YouTube. Um, I've been away for a little bit. I'll try to get back on as much as I can in the upcoming days, weeks, and things like that. Um, if you like my type of content and you like what I'm doing so far, please don't forget to hit the um, like Comment and subscribe buttons. Um, today's video is going to be about um, ESPN. And uh, all the uh, layoffs that they um, did or has occurred in the last two to three months. And we're going to talk about some other things in the meanwhile. Um all right, guys, let's get into the, today's uh, video. Now, can somebody please explain to me how ESPN, right, that's owned by um, Walt Disney, right, Channel 7, how can you fire... Um, Jalen Rose, Jeff Van Gundy, and then Mark Jackson. Those three names right there are three of the big names that used to work with ESPN. Although there's more people that have been fired by ESPN, I can't remember their names, but it's been a bunch of people behind the scenes and some people that was on the air personalities for ESPN. Like I said, um, Jeff Van Gundy, um, Jalen Rose, Mark Jackson. Now, I'm not taking anything away from Doc Rivers and I think they said uh, Burks. Ms. Bur um, Burks, but you're taking away Jeff Van Gundy, right? Not a good sign, not a good move. And then you're taking away Mark Jackson. Again, not a good move. Their chemistry with Mike, Mike Breen on, on TV is Top notch. I'm not saying you can't adjust to um, Burks and Rivers, but I like watching Van Gundy, Breen, and Jackson. They made you laugh. They made you um, tune in. They made you had a good time when they were calling games. Th those three specifically. Not saying nobody else. I'm saying those three specifically were top notch. And now you let them go. How can they do that? I don't know. They're talking about this pandemic, or because of the pandemic, they lost $5.5 billion or something like that. It doesn't matter. You don't get a you don't get to take good people off the year. Why? Because you can't pay their money, their salary, or whatever it is. I mean, I don't know. Really don't know. But the people that they should lay off, they keep on here. Right? Malika Andrews. I don't know why she's there, but only she does and ESPN does. Everybody knows why she's still there. Nobody watches um, ESPN Countdown no more or ESPN NBA Today, whatever the show is called, with Malika Andrews, Richard Jefferson, um, Perk, although I got nothing against Perk, he's a good guy, okay, 
and um, whoever else is on that show. I don't watch it anymore. I used to watch it, but I don't, I don't have time. And I don't, even if I do have time, I'm not going to sit there and watch it anymore, man. I don't even watch it, so it doesn't even make a difference. But these are just my sole opinions. It has nothing to do with anybody else's opinion. These are my opinions. Now, let's get him back to Jeff Van Gundy and Mark Jackson. Everybody knows that knows basketball that Mark Jackson was the one that put the Warriors where he developed all the players that was on those teams that won all those championships. I mean, does he get credit? No. But he's okay with that. Um... Who got all the credit? Steve Kerr. I mean, again, I don't have nothing against Steve Kerr. He's a good guy. And he's the coach of the team. But he wasn't the one that put all the um, effort and everything into developing Steve, uh, Stephen Curry, um, Draymond Green, and... Uh, Clay Thompson and those guys. It was um, Mark Jackson. It was Mark Jackson. Okay. And uh, Jeff Van Gundy. I think he should just come back to the Knicks, okay? I love Tom Thibodeau. I do. Don't get me wrong. But I'm a big Knicks fan. I'm a big New York fan. Okay. I think Jeff Van Gundy has unfinished business here in New York, okay? The way he left in 2002 shouldn't, it wasn't right. And he knows it. And us, Nick fan, Nick's fans, we know he has unfinished business, okay? He said it himself, unfinished business with the Knicks. So, if I was Tom Thibodeau, I would find a way to get Jeff on the Knicks as an assistant coach. Or, we can just let Tom go and bring Jeff in as the coach. Come on, man. Let's do it. And then he could bring um, Mark in as an assistant coach. Come on, let's get the... Let's get the band back together in New York. You know, guys, let's do it. Get the band back together in New York. And then you got one of the best head coach slash assistant coaches and um, Johnny Bryant. I, I strongly believe he's the upcoming um, coach, the next upcoming coach. <sighs> I'm just saying, you know, he's the next upcoming coach. But I want him to still be a part of the uh, coaching staff. But I would really love to see Jeff Van Gundy and Mark Jackson a part of the Knicks on the coaching staff. If Tom would let them in or just get rid of Tom, all right? Tom Thibodeau. Okay. He's a good coach, good defensive coach, but I don't think he is the right coach for the Knicks right now. I think Jeff and Mark Jackson could do an awesome job together with the coaching staff that they already have in place. Or you get everybody off that's on there except for Johnny Bryant and bring in your own people. That's it. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Comment down below. Again, if you like what you heard, you like what you've seen, um, please don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll do my best to come on more, to post more videos on my YouTube channel. All right, guys, 
I'll see you next time. All right. Peace.